What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Tonight, we're going to be making Popeye's new spicy chicken sandwich on the Blackstone. Let's do it. Hey, everybody. Today, we are making Popeye's spicy chicken sandwich. I am so excited. I've been dying to make this sandwich since I heard about its new release. And first of all, if you're new to the channel, I want to thank you. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell so you get uh, all of our new videos that are coming out. You get notifications. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you for your support. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, like button. So if you didn't already know, we are in the middle of a chicken sandwich war. So Popeye's first releases its new chicken sandwich and a couple days later, Chick-fil-A cracks back and goes on social media and talks smack to them. And then a few more days later, weeks later, Wendy's jumps in and starts talking smack. Popeye's runs out of chicken sandwiches and it's just a social media frenzy and everybody's going nuts about it. And then now all of a sudden McDonald's is jumping in and giving their own new version of their sandwich, their chicken sandwich. So uh, listen, we're in the middle of it. I love it. So today, I'm gonna make our version of the Popeye's chicken sandwich. I'm trying to make it as close as possible to the one they're coming out with just based on some research. I'm not sure if it's the same because I've never had it because they ran out, but we'll find out because I'm gonna make it today and I'll buy one when they come out and we'll see, uh, see how that's like. But uh, one thing that I wanna know from you guys is what's your favorite chicken sandwich? I know which one mine is, and I'll tell you all a little bit later on, but I, I wanna know which one is yours. So go to that comment section below and make sure you uh, write in the comment of which one you like. And so I'm ready. Let's get started making this Popeye's spicy chicken sandwich. Let's get cooking. All right, let's go over our ingredients from left to right. We have two teaspoons of paprika, three and a half tablespoons of cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of cumin, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of black pepper, one teaspoon of MSG, and one and a half teaspoons of salt. We're gonna mix those all together and combine them all in one big bowl, and then we're gonna separate them into two parts because we're gonna use one half now and one half later. And there they are, two parts. That's what they look like after they're nice and mixed up. All right, here we go, our dry ingredients. We've got two cups of flour, and then we're gonna add a half a cup of cornstarch. We're gonna add our other half of our seasoning and then we're gonna add one teaspoon of baking soda we give it a good mix and that's what it looks like after we're done mixing and now we have our wet batter three eggs beaten we're gonna add one teaspoon of yellow mustard. We're gonna add about a half a bottle of hot sauce. This is to your preference. Um, you could add up to really a cup, but it's up to you. I did about a half a bottle came out great so that's your choice though any kind of Louisiana hot sauce will work and then you want to add a third cup of water and you're gonna mix that all up and that's gonna give this chicken some nice looking color you want it to have that red tint and and obviously the spices will be there so 
there you go and then here we go here's our station so on the right here that chicken has been in buttermilk and hot sauce as well and the ingredients will be down below for 24 hours we dip it in our wet sauce go right to our dry mix get it nice and coated up and then go back to our wet sauce just like that and then back to the dry sauce and we're gonna do this three times we're gonna do three coats of wet and dry and this is why Popeyes is famous for their crunchy chicken because they put three coats as well so here we go third try oh, I'm sorry third time uh, back in the wet and you can see this <laughs> this is where I'm wearing, this is why I'm wearing gloves right here because it definitely gets a little bit messy and this is why it's gonna be super super crunchy and then we put it off into the side pan so here we're gonna speed up the second chicken breast coating for you and then once they are coated up three sides each we're gonna finish it off with another round of spices on the one side and then here we go with our spicy mayo we've got a half a cup of mayo tablespoon of hot sauce tablespoon of cayenne pepper and one teaspoon of salt we mix it all nice together and that's our spicy mayo super easy and let me tell you this really kicked it up it tasted awesome so we have our blackstone on we've got our frying pan ready to go and then you can see the buns uh, the brioche buns nice and toasted up that we did a little bit earlier uh, we want to get that oil and that cast iron skillet up to about 375 you can see right there's 379 so we're right there and right at about 379 you want to turn it down a little bit and then we're going to take those beautiful chicken breasts that have three coats of batter on them and just gently lay them away from you so you don't um, get the oil on you when it splatters a little bit and that's it you want to cook these about let's say about a minute on each side maybe two minute minute and a half on each side and so they get nice and crispy and nice and the nice brown coloring on them so it's been about a minute we're gonna flip these over Here you see I'm checking them, flip them over. Oh, there you go. That's the color you want right there. Nice and beautiful brown. Just like that. They look great. It smells amazing. You can see the, the size of these things. They're just impressive. At this point, I have no idea how they're going to fit on those brioche buns, but we're going to play it by ear here. So here we go. This is after we flip them. Um, let them cook for another couple minutes. And that is the color you want right there. They look absolutely beautiful. Nice little close up. So now we are going to take them off or take them out of the oil put them on a rack and keep them on the black stone but out of the oil because we don't want to overcook them uh, or make them you know too dark on the outside they've got that nice crispy golden brown uh, coating there so we want to get these to 165 internal temperature and you can see they've got a little ways to go. So we're going to cook them just like if they're in the oven. That's the awesome thing about this Blackstone. So the reason why I did this on the Blackstone is I want to show you how you can, you can cook this when you're on a campground or when you take this with you to the beach or to the campground or wherever. Uh, you, can, you can use the Blackstone like an oven. You can use it like a deep fryer with a cast iron skillet. And it's very versatile. 
So now you see, after it's been on for about 10 minutes, we're up to 169 right there, 166 there. They are done. Woo-hoo-wee! Are you kidding me? Do you see what we just made here? Oh my God. This thing is a beast of a sandwich. Look at that. I want to see if I can get a little close up. See how that looks. Can you see that? That thing is beautiful. All right, I don't think there's too much more to be said. I mean, that took a lot to get this sandwich cranked out. I can't believe that's what they do for these sandwiches. And let's just give it a bite because I can't wait anymore. I've been waiting. If it's sold out, I can't wait. Here we go. Ah, oh, jeez. Where do I start with this gigantic sandwich? Mmm. 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 Oh my God. That tastes so good. Hold on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> A little spicy. It's definitely got some kick, which is good. It tastes like a Chick-fil-A sandwich on steroids with the Popeye's hot sauce and the Wendy's spice. My favorite Wendy's. It, well, it wasn't until now. This thing is freaking amazing. Hang on. I need one more bite. This is absolutely out of control. Look, it's falling apart. Such a big sandwich. Mmm. All right. Round one goes to Popeyes. This thing is awesome. You gotta try it. It's definitely worth the effort. The effort. The crispiness of the crunch is outstanding. That triple batter, the pickles kicks in. That's the Chick-fil-A side there, but the spiciness of the Popeyes, oh my God, it's so good. And the chicken's cooked perfectly. The brioche buns, oh, it's a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. It's definitely a winner. Guys, give us a shot. I want to thank everybody for subscribing, liking, commenting, and we'll keep on cooking.